Have you ever wondered how a 3D printer might work? Well, using this picture of a 3D printer, I can describe it. Here, you can see a computer version of the printer, where the base moves forwards and backwards, top moves side to side, and up and down. Inside this, you can see there are gears that will push that rod called the filament, which it uses to draw. Once the printer is ready, it'll start to draw a line to calibrate itself. And then, it'll draw the base of the shape or whatever layers first. After it is done drawing the space, it will continue building layers off the top until you get your completed shape. This is called additive manufacturing. This actually happens quite fast, allowing the parts to be done sooner, but also quality when slowing down around the edges. This means that the printer will slow down throughout the print at different times to ensure that it looks better on the outside, but is done faster on the inside. Here you can see a very good demonstration of the layers building on top of each other to make the part. When taking the part off the printer, if the bed is still hot, it is quite hard to take it off. But when the bed is cool, it just pops off by itself. And using a shape like this, we can have the printer pause right in the middle so that we can place an object inside and then the printer can go back and seal it up. This is a huge advantage for people in manufacturing, allowing them to manufacture parts that they never could before. And to explain how they use 3D printing and manufacturing, Henry will show you his business and how 3D printing has revolutionized manufacturing. After you acquire a 3D printer and a computer, you are able to print any 3D model you want. Here I have one kilogram of filament. One kilogram of good quality filament cost about $20. But as you can see, this print only uses 11 meters of filament, meaning the price to print this object will only cost 22 cents. After considering all this information, it is possible to make a great profit by selling 3D prints. I'm able to sell this product for $2.49 and profit $2 after filament and shipping costs per item. Manufacturing companies take advantage of 3D printing. In fact, two thirds of US manufacturing companies use 3D printers to design their products. They also find it easy to design 3D models and quickly get an idea of their product. You may think that 3D printers are boring and there's no point of having one, but what makes them so entertaining is that there's always something else to print. It seems unreal that you can turn a 3D model from a computer into real life. For example, Levi used his designing skills to design and print a fully functional drone. First, to get a better understanding of this, let's take a look at one of the arms on the quad. Now, if we take a look at the same arm, but how it is printed, you'll notice it is printed long ways and not by going up and down. There's a reason for this. When printed long ways or up and down, you have almost like a grain or layer lines in the direction of the force. Now, if you do it in the opposite direction, which is demonstrated by the one laying down on the bed, it will be stronger because the grain is going the opposite direction of the force. Here you can see the one printed top to down. Now, when testing, this will break under the force of hand pressure. Now, when you print something along the bed, no matter how hard you push on it, normally it won't break because of how much strength is added when you print across the grain from where the force is being applied. This allows the quadcopter's arm to be resilient enough for high-speed flight and hygiene maneuvers. I hope you learned something today about 3D printing and how it can be useful, how it is done, and why it is used so much in manufacturing.